I make everything from dream catchers to masks to people pot pies, voodoo dolls. If it's horror, gore, and made out of flesh, I probably make something similar to it. Welcome to my shop, come on in. Some of my more popular products are actually my people pot pies. Um, I have a couple different versions. Some of them are limited, um, like the split tongue, but there's some that I always have in the shop all, all year round. And then some of my newer products are actually these little voodoo dolls and my little finger pets. They're kind of fun, people like them. They have little finger legs and arms, and you can actually put little pins in them too if you wanted to when you get, when you get them home. I also have the start of a head purse here. So um, this will actually open up into the bag there. I haven't finished sewing it yet. And uh, still start with some clasps. You can carry around all your goodies in, uh, in somebody's head. I got started making props when I started doing haunted trail camping. So we'd go camping and make these haunted travels for the other campers to come through. It was so much fun and we really wanted to kind of up our game a little bit. So I was like, I'm gonna make my own stuff. Most of it started in paper mache, but you know, you kind of get better and better as time goes on. Welcome to my work area. This is where I do most of my painting. Um, as you can tell, it's covered in paint. The painting process is actually one of my favorite parts. Um, it's very relaxing to me. And the, the great thing about it is, is if I actually mess up and spill a little blood somewhere where it shouldn't be, it kind of works for the overall effect. <laughs> Something really fun that I just recently purchased for my business is a 3D printer. I use it mostly to print up bones and different pieces like that. Uh, that way I don't have to try and go find animal bones off the side of the road and I know it's it's ethical and actually made making those products easier for me. The typical amount of time that I'd say an average product takes is anywhere between a week and a day and the price range is somewhere between $15 and $30, sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more. So one of the reasons why I actually enjoy working with Gore is, is there's a humor behind it I think that I find and making a purse out of someone's head or a bowl out of someone's head, maybe even a severed <laughs> There's a, a sense of humor behind it that, it might be dark, but it is kind of my sense of humor. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, oh. hey, check this here. Before you do anything else, like, subscribe, and share. I want a TV, or I'll hit you with a nub.